In Lesson 8, the students are asked to create a model eardrum. This lesson also includes learning about hearing safety to protect your eardrums. They make the model of the eardrum out of a clear plastic cup, a rubber sheet, and a rubber band. In the teacher's guide, they recommended you use the bigger, thicker rubber band. I found that that did not hold the tension tight enough on the rubber sheet. To correct this, I used the thinner rubber band and I doubled it. That allowed me to pull the sheet much tighter and bring a tighter tension to the top of the eardrum. Students were supposed to put a pinch of salt, a pinch of sand, or paper pieces that they had ripped out of a 4x4 piece of paper on the surface of the eardrum to observe if sound made these vibrate. They wanted the students to take a 4x4 sheet of paper and rip it into small pieces, placing the pieces on the eardrum. I found that the students did not rip the paper consistently. Some pairs of students had very large pieces of paper and some had very small pieces of paper. To solve the consistency problem, I went ahead and used hole punch pieces from the hole punch in the classroom and I gave 10 to 15 hole punches to each pair of students and had them place them here on the eardrum model. Then they were to place it on the surface and they were to use these noise makers to make the paper vibrate. I found this did not work. To solve that problem, I brought back our tuning forks and used these to make the sound both audible and visible.